this week, our next couple took some big risks with a non-traditional jive that incurred the wrath of two of our judges. Will all three say yes, yes, yes to their cha-cha-cha? Let's find out. Disney star Chelsea Kane and her partner Mark Ballas. Last week, Chelsea's clown theme jive was no laughing matter for the judges. I love choreography like that, but there's a time and a place for it, and I don't think it was right now. Six. Five. Seven. Next week, we'll have to go a little more traditional because I want to make the judges happy. Can we please the crowd and the judges? Sure. <laughs> I don't want to put out your fire, but I would like to stay in the competition. For Personal Story Week, I picked the song Chelsea because it was written for me by my first love, and uh, it has a lot of special meaning. I grew up in Arizona mm -hmm. with these kids, one of them in particular named Brian. He started this band. They wrote this song. The first time I heard it was live. It was his first time ever kind of confessing his, his feelings for me. It was epic and romantic, and we started dating the next day. It was my first time falling in love with someone. A happy story to hey, tell. you're blushing. Arch your back, arch your back. Sexy? Uh, uh. Sexy. Sexy. So, Straighten your arm. I am being sexy. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Really struggling with the hip and butt action because I don't consider myself sexy. So your hands kind of do this. Put them on your hips and work it out. Da, da. <laughs> what? I just, I'm, I'm like intimidated by you right now. Why? Because you're a better girl than I am. The chapter is all about being sassy, fun, and flirty, which I think is perfect for telling Chelsea's love story. It's a little flirty, flirty, and then it kind of starts on this whole section, you know, and then you're just like showing me the booty. I hope people get a little bit of joy from this cha cha the way that I did with my first love. Dancing the cha cha cha, Chelsea Kay and her partner Mark Ballas. I could really feel that excitement running through the quivering sense of anticipation for the bite, the bite of that delicious first taste of love. <laughs> tasty, tasty, Chelsea, and the great cha-cha. <laughs> wow. Carrie Ann. I'm a little disturbed right now. <laughs> you're, you think you're I'm a little, a little disturbed. disturbed right now. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I'm a big fan of love and romance, and I am a big fan of that <laughs> you are so adorable. You look like a little baby Julianne, but even with bigger eyes and bright eyed and more 
energy. It was just adorable. I have one little pointer for you, not to be a Debbie Downer, but just a, if you could work a little bit more in your hip action. But girlfriend, you are on it. All right. Killing it. Well, well I remember my first love, and it didn't look anything like you, Chelsea. <laughs> to be Old Sally Frosty Knickers wasn't a looker. But anyway, enough about me. That's your best dance. Well done. <laughs> with probably a really good score. Sally Frosty Nichols, huh? On tomorrow night's results show, we've got the hottest teen sensation, Selena Gomez, with a performance of her latest top 10 hit, plus Grammy-nominated band One Republic and also our Dancing with the Stars troupe. All that and more tomorrow at 9, 8 Central. Brooke? Thanks, Tom. Chelsea, you were dancing to a song that was written just for you. How did you feel about that? It was amazing. You know, usually when I hear that song, though, it's at a rock show and <laughs> doesn't require the cha-cha. So now I just have another awesome memory to go with that song. Now, I'm not sure that Mark does a better version of a girl than you, but you mentioned that in rehearsals that you were intimidated because those moves come so naturally for him. What's up with that? Have you seen him shake that? That yes. was ridiculous. <laughs> and last week, he chose to wear fake eyelashes. Mark, I want to know more about that later, but let's get your scores right now. Mark. The judges have their scores. Carrie Ann Inaba. Seven. Len Goodman. Eight. Bruno Tomio. Eight. All right, that's 23 out of 30, and obviously they look very happy. Now, last week they made a controversial choice, and your votes helped bring them back. If you want to help them escape tomorrow night's elimination, then you've got to vote tonight for Chelsea and Mark. Call, text, log on to abc.com. Tom. Thanks, Brooke.